Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to talk about rational equations. So but first, let's define rational expression. Take note, expression, hindi pa e equation yan ha, expression pa yan. So a rational expression is a fraction whose numerator and denominator are both polynomials. Okay? Yung numerator and denominator are both polynomial. So, it can be written in the form A over B, where A, the numerator, and the denominator are both polynomials, and B is not equal to zero. So, itong denominator natin, pag sinold natin, dapat hindi yan magzi-zero. Kasi pag nag-zero yan, meaning it is undefined. Okay, so again, that's rational expression. Example ng rational expressions are the following. We have 3 over x minus 2. 3 is a polynomial. x minus 2 is also a polynomial. So it's a rational expression. x minus 2 over x minus 1. Okay, it's another example of rational expression. This is also another example of a rational expression. Now, rational equation. A rational equation is an equation whose terms are rational expressions. Example, we have 3 over x minus 2 equals 1. Anong kaibahan ng rational equation sa rational expression? Yes, may equal sign ang rational equation. So, meron na siyang left side at saka right sign. And meron siyang equal sign. Okay? So, 3 over x minus 2 is equal to 1. So, this is an example of a rational equation. Another example is x minus 2 over x minus 1 equals 2. So, in solving rational equations, it is very important to um, be aware or to know how to get the least common denominator or yung tinatawag natin LCD. Okay? So, LCD is the least common multiple of the denominators. Um, let's review on how to get the LCD of polynomials. Sige. So, the LCD of the rational expressions... 4 over x squared minus 4 and x minus 2 over x squared plus 3x plus 2 is, ito yung LCD niya. x minus 2 times x plus 2 x times x plus 1. Paano ito nakuha? Review natin. Una, let's focus on the denominators. Ha? Okay, kasi LCD, denominators, no? So, we have x squared minus 4. And we have x squared plus 3x plus 2, so denominator. And we are going to factor them out. Okay? Fact, uh, we are going to factor x squared minus 4. This is um, difference of two squares, if you can still remember. It's a grade 8, yung sa factoring, no? So let's factor that, difference of two squares. So we have square root ng x squared, we have x. And then square root ng 4, i2. So, yung isa positive, ang isa negative. So, we have x plus 2 times x minus 2. So, these are the factors of x squared minus 4. Next, let's factor x squared plus 3x plus 2. This is a general trinomial. So, we look for values of 2. Um, we look for the factors of 2 na kung i-multiply natin, magiging 2. Pag i-add natin, magiging 3. Okay, and that would be 2 and 1. So, therefore, the factors are x plus 2 times x plus 1. Now, in finding the LCD, uh, unahin natin yung common, no? Common ng x plus 2 at saka x plus 2. So, isang beses lang natin yan isulat. So, we have x plus 2. And then, yung mga natira, we have x minus 2. Wala na siyang partner. Sulat part yan, x minus 2. And then, we have x plus 1. So, therefore, the LCD we have here, x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 1. Ma'am, bakit dito na una x minus 2? Okay lang yan, commutative naman ang multiplication. So, in any order yan, basta multiplication ng factors, okay? LCD. 
When we say solutions or roots, those are values that satisfy a given rational equation. Ibig sabihin, values ng variable natin or ng x or ng y or any given variable na kung i-substitute natin dun sa rational equation ay magiging tama ang sagot. Okay? So, the value x equals 3 is a solution of the rational expression x over x minus 1 equals 3. So, ma'am, dito ba kinuha yung 3 kaya siya naging solution? Hindi po. Okay? Yung value daw ng x, which is 3, so, isubstitute natin dito sa x yung 3. And, we are going to check if it's really 3. Okay? So, that would be 6 over yung x magiging 3. So, 3 minus 1. Is that equal to 3? Okay. Is that equal to 3? So, we have 6 over 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay. What is 6 over 2? That is 3. Okay. So, therefore, 3 is equal to 3. Okay. And this is correct. So, meaning, we can say that x equals 3 is a solution to the rational expression 6 over x minus 1 equals 3. Extraneous solutions. When we say extraneous solutions, these are values that arrived at, um, values that arrived at upon solving a rational equation but do not satisfy the given equation. Okay? Parang solution siya pero hindi pala. Uh, so, extraneous solution. Example niyan, in solving 5x minus 10 over x squared minus 4 equals 1, x will be equal to 2 and 3. Okay, however, 2 is an extraneous solution since using 2 as a value of x makes the denominator equal to 0. And from the definition that we had for rational expression, pag ang denominator maging 0, hindi pwede kasi it will be undefined. So, pag ginamit natin itong 2, okay, pag ginamit natin ang 2 as a value of x here, so, 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. So, hindi na siya pwede kasi magzi-zero na ang buong denominator. Thus, the rational expression will be undefined. Okay? So, yung 2, ang tawag natin sa kanya, extraneous solution. Extraneous again, kasi nung nag-solve tayo, lumabas na ang value ng x, ay 2 at saka 3. Okay? But then, pag nag-substitute tayo ng 2 sa x, magiging 0 ang denominator. So, hindi pwede. Meaning, 2 is not a solution to this um, rational equation. It is, 2 is an extraneous solution. Let's have an example. Let's solve x over x plus 1 equals 4 over 3. So, when we say we solve, we look for the value of x. We look for the solutions to this rational equation. So, how is that? Unang una, we find the LCD. The denominators are x plus 1 and 3. So, both of these expressions are completely factored already. So, we cannot factor them anymore. So, thus, the LCD of the terms of the equation is automatic, no? 3 times x plus 1. Okay? 3 and then x plus 1. Multiply nyo lang yan. That's the LCD. So, yun ang ginagawa pag hindi na napa-factor out. Cannot be factored anymore yung mga LCD nila. Okay? Or prime na siya. Multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD to remove the denominators. Then, we solve for the unknown variable. So, di ba meron na tayong LCD na ganito? So, itong LCD natin, i-multiply natin dito na side, sa right side, and i-multiply din natin dito sa left side para ma-cancel out natin yung mga denominators. Ayan. So, that is, this is the original equation. And then we multiply the LCD both sides. So we can cancel out 3. We can cancel out x plus 1. Ayan. So anong naiwan? 3 times x. So that is 3x. And then 4 times x plus 1. So 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 1 is 4. And then we solve for x. Okay? So 3x minus 4x. That is negative x. And naiwan si 4. 
divide both sides by negative. So, eto magiging positive x and yung 4 magiging negative 4. So, that is negative 1. Divide both sides by negative 1. Okay? Para makancel out yung negative, ang naiwan na lang si x. And then, 4 divided by negative 1 is negative 4. So, the solution to this expression, uh, to this equation is x equals negative 4. Verify your answer by substituting x equals negative 4 to the original equation. Okay, verify natin. Check natin kung tama ba yung sagot. Or baka pala yung negative 4 is just an extraneous solution. Okay? So, let's substitute now negative 4 to x. So, x over x plus 1 equals, um, yung x is negative 4. Yeah, negative 4. Over yung x dito negative 4 plus 1. So, negative 4. So, this would be uh, negative 4 over negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Okay? So, we have negative negative division yan. So, magiging positive. So, the answer is 4 over 3. And it's correct. Okay? Another example, let's find the solutions of 4 over y plus 4 equals y over 3. Okay, let's find the LCD. Kasi yung denominators natin, y plus 4 at saka 3, uh, they cannot be factored anymore. So, automatic yung LCD nila is 3 times y times uh, y plus 4. And then what we do next is to multiply both sides by the LCD para makancel out natin yung denominators. And so, we have, ito yung original, ayan. And then, we multiply uh, both sides by the LCD. So, cancel out na natin itong 3. Cancel out natin yung y plus 4. So, we have 3 times 4, that is 12. Then, y times y is y squared. y times 4 is 4y. And then, we solve for uh, the unknown y. So, ito naman, uh, Transfer natin ito sa kabila, no? Para maging, uh, ito siya, para ma-factor out natin ito. And then we can solve for y. Okay, so we have, uh, ito siya, transfer natin. Uh, it becomes negative y squared minus 4y plus 12 equals 0. And then we factor out. Dito may negative tayo. So inalis muna natin yung negative. We divide all terms and both sides by negative. So, ito magiging positive, positive, ito negative, and then still 0. Okay. So, we have positive y squared plus 4y minus 12 equals 0. And then, we factor uh, this expression. So, we look for values or factors ng negative 12 na kung i-multiply magiging negative 12, pero kung i-add or i-subtract magiging positive 4. And that would be 6 and negative 2. Okay, 6 and negative 2. Bakit? Kasi if we have 6 times negative 2, magiging negative 12. 6 minus 2 is positive 4. So, therefore, the factors are y plus 6 times y minus 2 equals 0. Okay? And by the zero product property, we can have y, etong factor na ito, y plus 6 equals 0, so for y, y equals negative 6. Okay? And then, y minus 2, y minus 2 equals 0. So we have, solving for y, y equals positive 2. And so we have two values for y, negative 6 and positive 2. Now let's verify uh, the answer by substituting each obtained solution to the original equation. So, for y equals negative 6, 4 over, ito, 4 over y plus 4 equals y over 3. So, substitute natin yung negative 6 sa y. So, we have 4 over negative 6 plus 4. Instead of y, we write negative 6. Ayan. Is it equal to negative 6 over 3? Uh, yung y dito naging negative 6. Ayan. So, for negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. So, it's like 4 over negative 2, that is negative 2. Negative 6 over 3, that is also negative